one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so world of JK. trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. And now, for the official introductions, Ladies we go inside the octagon where we find the, the venerable Bruce Buck. division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place for you. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Wild swing there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big punch land. What a body kick. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Try to establish that jab. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Lee. Nice right hand. Gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Ooh, found a home for that knee. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. You don't really stand after 
after you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big kick lands. 20 seconds to go. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Round two next. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just misses there with the left. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kicks. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, he's always on the count. Oh, what a shot. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was over in versus in Gandhi. And you know he still have a found out of over his head. Back to the feet. And they separate. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Good stick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, he'll engage oh, big knee. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, now. he might be out. Oh! Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up. Oh! So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. 
he got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Third round underway. Just missed with the left there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch land. Job of hiding that head kick. Back and forth we go. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork. Oh, oh! Hard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He hurts so bad. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What a fight! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick. Over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 17 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by...